Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tia at V5 Designs. I am particularly not ready for this video. I cleaned up all my Timu stuff and then um, didn't really pay attention to what I was doing here and thought I was ready. Uh, I gotta move some stuff. Um, this side of my desk is relatively clean, but my Cricut side of the desk is not very clean but I got this kit and it is so freaking cute sorry it is Stampin Up punch box terrific tags it has six tag stamps three stampin spots and a rectangle tag punch and I paid oh my dogs are barking under I want to pay, say with shipping, I paid um, $17. And of course, now it escapes me who I got it from. It was on Instagram. I buy it from her all the time when she does these dashes. She lives not very far. Well, she lives in the same state as I do. But here's the tag punch. Super cute. Here is a couple of tags. Aren't they precious? And the stamps. Um, you get thank you. The Christmas. 100% baby. Um, birthday. And friend. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. I think it's the cutest thing ever. And then you get the, sorry, <clears throat> I'm trying to put it back. I don't know if I'll get all of this, everything I want to show you in one video. Um, you get a real red little Stampin' Up! ink pad, uh, certainly celery. And I don't know what year this is from or anything. And then brocade blue. But I am in love with it. And I love that it came. Whoops. Get my two little Christmas tags there. That it came in the tin. Perfect. And like I said, I got this off an of Instagram. I have like stuff on my desk that I didn't even come out of the woodwork here. I didn't even realize I got. Anyway, um, gosh, it's just driving me nuts that I can't think of the name. Anyway, I should have looked it up before I came on. Um, I picked, now we went to just one uh, flea market, antique store, whatever you want to call it, resale shop today. And I picked this up. Isn't that so cute? I have in my dining room window seal, I have the little houses and I have a plaque or whatever that says, I don't know. I don't remember what it says. Something about small houses. Sorry for the crinkle wrinkle. And I picked up for the grandkids when they come over. Now my granddaughter is 10 months and my grandson, one grandson is 10 months. I talk about this all the time, how they were born like less than 12 hours apart. So I like to have stuff for them. Um, I actually watch my granddaughter not a ton but every couple times a month and so she loves musical stuff so I found this little people world of animals see and say and I thought that would be cute for her so I was happy that I would got that I feel like I hit like the scrapbooking crafting jackpot um, I don't even know if this was truly this says it was 249 I don't know if it was or not but it's elastic and that will be perfect and then I just was intrigued by this one I was thinking fall Halloween and it was only a dollar so I got this ribbon more of something I don't need I picked up this is called nursery charms everyday life and it's from close to my heart and I'll just pull it out here and show you Isn't that cute 
says, you are my sunshine. Oh my gosh, I love that. And then, sweet. Cute, cute, cute. And I think that's the only close to my heart one that I got. Now this says that it came from Oriental Trading Company. I've never gotten anything from stamps or anything like that from Oriental Trading Company. And of course, it is, I'm not going to complain about the packaging. It is packaged nicely. And it says, what? it's a boy, sorry, I didn't see that. And then it's got snips and snails and puppy dog tails. It's got a little dog, a duck, the pacifier, the diaper pen, a dump, uh, like dump truck, the doggy, the teddy bear. So that is super cute, I think. And then I got, of course, I had to have the girl one. Now I just gotta do some albums, right? And this one, of course, says sugar and spice and everything nice, princess, um, it's a girl, and it has cutie pie. This is cutie pie, the bottle, the pacifier, the onesie, the duck, the teddy bear. Oh my gosh, so cute. They are packaged nicely, I will say that. Um, not that I, like I said, I've never ordered from Oriental Trading Company. I got this one, wood stamp that says thanks a bunch. Of course, they took the prices off. I don't know why I'm getting into wood stamps again, but I am. And this does not have, it says, Darcy's Country Folk. So, I don't know. It looks like it's in good shape. So, a lot of these um, were like $2. So, because I am trying to make cards and I'm doing a lot of, I'm doing a lot of, I think I've had, I've made two. No, I think I made more than two. Um, three by three note cards. I picked up this one, which is Hero Arts. And it says, Petite Prince. And it's like little butterflies. I thought that would be cute, embossed. You guys hear me, I'm on an embossing kick. And I also, um, Want to, in fact, I just ordered um, some Tim Holtz Distress. Or no, I haven't ordered them yet. I'm going to order from Joann's because I went to Hobby Lobby to see if they had the Distress watercolor pencils. And I got this one. This one says Spring. I get, it doesn't actually say it on the stamp, but it says it on the And the other, this one which says Summer. And then I got, I'm going to have to get another. I have one um, square basket or square box or whatever for my cubes uh, full of wood stamps. And then I have another container full that I keep wood stamps. I got this one for pictures of me and my hubby. Um, I got this one. I might already have it, but it was a lawn fawn, and it's trick. It says trick or treat. I don't know if it's been used or not, but it looks like it's in good shape. And I think it was only two, two bucks. I love lawn fawn, but I don't generally buy it um, unless it's on a D stash. And then this one, I'm just gonna tell you what it says, uh, and then I'm gonna show it. Today belongs to you. Never regret anything that made. You laugh, smiles are contagious, dance to your own um, music, confidence is sexy, girls just want to have fun. I don't know. This doesn't really have a brand on it. So I don't know if they just, it's not, it looks like it was bought just like this unless they repackaged them. 
It might be an Oriental Trading Company too. So I was happy with that. And then I got, wait you guys, I'm sorry for the long videos. And I have another one that I'm gonna be posting. Um, I got this, it says thinking of you and wishing you comfort. It seems like the older I get, the more I need sympathy cards. So I don't know, sad, but it's also life. And then I got another one of these. Now that sympathy one or whatever was a hero arts and the you and me one didn't have a company on it at all and then this one oh my goodness is um fall oh, this little one isn't that cute oh my gosh those are going to be fun to stamp out and then i got Oh my goodness, it'd be nice if I quit dropping stuff. It's because I'm holding this sack in my hand. Now this is a Stampin' Up one. And the snowman one says, snowy days, frosty nights, warm hearts. And then there's a flower one and it says, seeds of friendship bring flowers of joy. And then there's a bottom one. The bottom one says, everyone smiles in the same language. So, sorry for the glare. There's the little snowman one and the flower one and then this one i thought that was so cute and it says 2008 stampin up it's pretty small print for me on there as far as the year so i got that and i dropped these i picked up these i was intrigued by these they're doodlebug designs and it says two sheets of double-sided adhesive shapes so you can go i guess and put glitter on them and this is what it what they said you just place stick with it on cardstock so whatever words you're going to use remove top liner sprinkle with doodlebug sugar coating glitter or crushed velvet block Rub on coating and circular motion with fingertip onto stick with it. Shake off an excess coating and enjoy the custom look and feel. And it has a, the little popsicle stick in there. So I thought that was cute. I don't have any doodle bug sugar coating, glitter, or crushed velvet flock, but I'm sure anything will work. And then I got this one. And it. This is their example. And so it says friend, smile, beautiful, laugh, dream. And then it has all the borders. Oh, sorry, my nose itches. I thought that was super cute. And then I got this, I've never heard of this, Top Line Creations. Uh, put a little TLC in your scrapbook. And this one is six by six. It says one and a half sheets of forest cardstock, a half a sheet of red striped paper, six by six red dot paper, a half a sheet of white cardstock, and one Christmas phrases. And I will show you, maybe. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this. Like I said, I've never seen this brand before. And it's like a page kit, basically, but so. You get that six by six sheet and then you get this striped one you get a white one and they're all kind of like different sizes it's nice like this is nice and thick and this is nice and thick and so you got this size anyway what I read anyhow and then you get the Top line creations, I guess they're stamps or stickers, and they say sitting on Santa's lap, joy, Christmas is the day that holds all time together, Merry Christmas, peace on earth will come to stay when we live Christmas every day, 
in the eyes of children we find the joy of Christmas in their hearts we find its meaning and holiday memories so that is pretty cute and then this one is um, I guess it's just fall it doesn't really like it says fall give thanks and um, this one's a little bit different like maybe that one isn't a complete set but this is still the top of the line creations so sorry I just want to open it and show you you get um, well this is phrases and it says like fall pumpkin patch the beauty of fall is not reserved for the colors of the leaves. Jumping in the leaves, harvest moon. All the leaves on the trees are falling to the sound of the breeze that blow. A falling leaf is nothing more than summer's wave goodbye. Oh, I like that so much. And then you get, um, like, I don't know, these tags. So this one ha is different, very different. It has um, a bit more stuff in it. So you get this page, which is pretty cute. And that's vellum, cool. And then you get this page. And though these are really thin, they're almost like, um, I don't know what to, it's very thin. This is very thin. I have some of this paper. And then this, the solid colors are very nice and thick. I would say at least 65 pound. This, the, these are like the weight of the packaging actually so that is cute and I only paid a couple bucks for these so um, I was very very happy they had a lot of wood stamps um, just not you know always my thing but this video has gotten very long I'm gonna come back and show you I went back to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna show you what you got what I got. I'll be right back.